Hey folks, welcome to my channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn and Sarasota, and of course, the Disney Daily. Today is September 29th, and Beast is joining me today, of course, from Beauty and the Beast fame. He wanted to join us for the video. So what do we want to talk about today? Of course, there's a Mickey's Not So Scary happening tonight over at Magic Kingdom, which is always a great thing. Love Mickey's Not So Scary. If you've never been, it's, it's wonderful. But what my topic is going to be tonight is going to be crime in Orlando. Now, when I say Orlando, I just say Orlando because Orlando is the city that we think of when we think of Universal and Disney and SeaWorld. But when I say Orlando, what I'm talking about is basically anywhere near a theme park, which is that bubble, that, that eight or 10 mile bubble where all the parks lie. And in particular, Highway 192, which used to be an incredible uh, source of revenue for the city of Orlando, an incredible place to drive up and down. I remember when Matt was little. Matt was born in 92 when, you know, before we moved to Florida for the first time in 2003, uh, we used to go, oh my God, there was so many things on 192. And I'm going, and when I was a kid, it was even better. But you're talking about wax museums, you're talking about little theme parks, petting zoos, lots of miniature golf places. And now all that is going away because as the parks grow bigger, you know, what's happening is as the parks grow bigger, less and less people are venturing out of what you call the theme park bubble. And the city of Orlando, and again, remember those parameters, what I was telling you about, is seeing a dramatic increase in crime, in homelessness. And, and why is this? Is because more and more of these places that used to be very viable are now empty. Now, something that might surprise everybody out there. Now, no one really would be surprised if thinking Las Vegas has the highest number of hotel rooms in America, you know, city-wise. But Orlando is number two in terms of most hotel rooms. So you say to yourself, of course, that was because there were so many theme parks and they're there for all this time. But what's happening to all those hotels that account for all those rooms? Obviously, as, as big as the parks are, the three that we're talking about, they're not that big, right? Even though Disney has 16 resorts, they're not that big. Well, guess what's happening to those hotels? Well, a lot of them have gone out of business. A lot of them are what they call extended stay resorts, which means that there's lots of times cast members, lots of times team members from Universal, team members from SeaWorld. Um, you know, Orlando rents are getting very, very high, have gotten very high for a long, long time. And... It's actually not that bad of a deal that these cast members that work there, they stay in the hotel. It's about five, six hundred dollars a week, sometimes more. But it's still, you know, the, the electric is paid. The water is paid. They have a gym. They have a pool. They're right near where they work. But what's happening is that it's it's becoming it's it's, it's taking on a different character. And, you know, nowadays, if you drive up and down 192, especially at night, you're gonna see vast, vast amounts of homeless people. Now, of course, even though we know that's a city problem, but the fact of the matter is, is that there's not a lot of money around there and when things are closed and you have different kinds of shops opening up, they're not drawing the tourists anymore because the tourists are staying inside the bubble. And Orlando more and more, and I don't wanna name countries or whatever, but it's becoming more like some of these countries where, and you know, and you know, you know you've all been to travel agencies, we're all adults here, that they'll tell you, hey, you go to you go to the, into that country, you go to resort, and you leave. You don't bother with anything else, and that's what's happening more and more to the city of Orlando. And it's a real shame because it's it's a beautiful city. It's called the city beautiful, but it's getting very dangerous. And Orlando is it gets like a C in terms of like dangerous cities, which is which is appalling when you consider. Um, how much wealth is around there with the theme parks. You know, something that might surprise you too is, you know, case in point, the Magic Kingdom, right? Or Disney World itself. That accounts for one third of the profits of the Disney company. And that's hard to believe when you, fix, when you factor in Pixar, you factor in Disney Plus, you factor in all the things that they own around the world, stores, whatever. That It's a lot, a lot of money. And... You know, again, I don't see a solution to this, but uh, what's happening is it's it's getting worse and worse. So, and I get, you know, what's the theme here? I mean, I guess obviously if you're driving around, you got to be more more and more careful. And you know, a lot of times people do want to take a break; they don't want to rent a car. 
But, uh, you know, with I guess what I'm trying to say is that we're losing the character of the city. I mean, as much as I love the theme parks, I used to love being a night person. We used to love getting up, you know, 10, 11 o'clock, going out, venturing, taking a little adventure around the city. I guess because we always knew we wanted to live there. And we would go to these wax museums and these theme parks and these these little places, you know, things like Gatorland and all that, which less and less people go into these days. And it was nice going to these places and then going to the going to the main park, you know. But but again, therein lies the problem. The prices at the parks now are so expensive that if you're paying hundred and seventy five dollars to get into Disney, which is the average price of what you're paying to get say to the Magic Kingdom. You want to spend every waking moment in this. Now you're going in there at rope drop, which is early in the morning, and the parks aren't even, aren't even open until 12, 1 o'clock anymore, unless you go for a special ticketed event. So anyway, it's, um, it's becoming a problem more and more, and I don't know what the solution is. I guess, you know, when you go down and you go to Orlando, I mean, I'm not saying it's the most dangerous city in the world. It's not, but again, you got to be careful, and... I, I guess, you know, with park prices being what they are, I don't I couldn't tell you a reason to go down there, you know, other than the fact of you're missing the culture of the of the actual city. It's it's a wonderful city with fantastic people, with a fantastic story, with a fantastic history, and you want to keep that alive. I mean, I'm a big believer in small business and it's great to go to a, a little diner on 192. There's a great diner, in fact. On 192, which is near like the Silver Spurs Arena where they do the rodeo, it's called uh, the Rodeo Diner. And it's just a small diner and it's privately owned. But these are the places that made America great. And not not to go off on that because I don't have any political stance on this channel. But I'm just saying like small business is the backbone of this country. And you want to keep those places alive. Nothing wrong with corporate America. But small business, I'm a big believer in that. And I'd hate to see all those places kind of going away, but that's what's kind of happening. And um, again, this is just kind of like my little soapbox thing or whatever, this little, uh, you know, Disney Daily thing that I'm trying to do almost every day. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, but anyway, that's the topic for today. And uh, Beast is telling me it's time to go. It's getting a little lengthy. So uh, hope you're enjoying these and I'll see you in the next video. And I'll put a different character up there. I was thinking about a different character every time I do a video. Of course, I'm not going to do it in the same spot every time. But who knows? It's making this up as I go along, as I do most things in life. Uh, let's go Mets. We got to win one more game tomorrow uh, against Atlanta. And we'll be in the playoffs. So who knows what will happen with that. But always got to promote my Mets. Love you guys. See you in the next video on the Disney Daily. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.